everyone, it's Matt from Pixelate here and welcome back to the channel. We're getting closer and closer to the release of The Sims 4 High School Years. It's officially less than a week away and I am so excited and I know a lot of you guys are too. I have just started watching early access content last night, though I haven't seen much. I am starting to wrap my head around what exactly is coming and how deep some of the new gameplay systems are. And being completely honest with you so far with what I've watched, I'm actually not that disappointed. Keep in mind when I started watching content, I did keep in mind that corners were going to be cut. For those of you OG players that played all of the older Sims games, you know that The Sims 4 definitely cuts more corners than those other games. And I think the reason why I'm not as disappointed is because I didn't set the bar super, super high for myself based on those thoughts and also some of the initial reactions previously about the early content being a little underwhelming. One thing that I kept thinking about though over and over and over and I wanted to make a video to talk to you guys about it and I'm sure the Sims team has thought about doing this but I don't think it was in the cards for them because this would require probably a lot of money and a lot of time and I don't think EA would approve the studio to make these types of changes or make changes this big this late in the game but who knows I mean look at all the other systems that are coming to the game we're getting sexual orientations. We recently got neighborhood stories and they're actually still building on those neighborhood stories to this day and have said that that is the base foundation and that they are going to be adding more layers to it, which they've already added one already. Same thing goes for sexual orientations and pronouns. Pronouns are only currently available in English but will be rolled out to other languages in the future and sexual orientations will have updates in the future to include non-binary Sims. So a lot is changing in terms of the foundation of the game, but one thing that kept plaguing my mind as I was watching videos and reading information on this pack, why do the teens still look like adults? I mean, that is one thing that has always bothered me, and I'm sure that a lot of other Simmers have also thought about this as well. They're way too similar in height, if not the same height. There really isn't too much to give them individual individuality from the adults. They literally feel like young adult clones. And while watching this gameplay, seeing the teens in high school, it kind of felt like I was watching one of those TV shows where they cast actors in their mid to late 20s to play high schoolers. For example, Riverdale. It's just kind of like jarring in a way. Like they don't look like teens at all. They literally look like adults. And seeing them in high school, it just felt like we were playing with an active university in a way. Like I'm not saying that the Sims team needs to make preteens because that's a whole other thing and honestly not everybody wants preteens. I just feel like if they focused on making the teens more like teens so that they could be differentiated between the adults and the children we wouldn't even need the preteens to be honest. When I say that I mean in terms of physical looks and physical appearance, in terms of actual gameplay and abilities and interactions actions, the Sims team actually did an amazing job with that if you've seen the early access content. A lot of what we're getting for teens does differentiate them from children, from young adults. My point is just about the physical look and physical appearance of them, more and so in terms of height. They definitely need to be shorter. They need to be built a lot differently in the game, but the reason why I see the Sims team never doing this, and I'm sure that they've thought about this before, is you have to think. If if they completely remake teens and rebuild them from the ground up, what is that going to mean? That's going to mean that they're going to basically have to recreate all of the animations that are associated with teens, because I'm assuming that teens and adults, since they're the same size, or roughly the same size, they probably share all of the same animations, right? Yeah. Also, same goes for clothing attire. Pretty much every asset would have to be remade for teens if they're size were to change because if they were to be smaller and they'd have to shrink or stretch then things would definitely look warped or pixelated and it would just be so weird it wouldn't flow and that same concept goes with animations too that would cost them way too much money and I think that that's the reason why at this point they haven't done it but it's a thought that just keeps plaguing my mind anytime I'm watching this early content with teens they don't look 
look like teens. <laughs> I also think that this is the same reason why we probably don't have any height sliders or height adjustments, not just available in The Sims 4, but in pretty much every other Sims title that we've received previously. It's just too much in terms of animations and clothing. They'd have to constantly be stretching things or shrinking things and having everything be compatible with one another. It's just way too much programming. It requires way too much time, which of course requires too much money to budget those kinds of changes. So I don't see height sliders or anything like that really coming. It is cool to know that that is coming with Paralives though. That is one of the confirmed features. I don't know how they're going to pull it off in the way that they have, but they've designed that in a way to where there doesn't look to be any stretching or pixelation. And I'm curious to see how that is going to affect animations or not, but that's definitely a wish of mine, a pipe dream of mine for The Sims 4 is to see them go back and give us actual teenagers. Share your thoughts below on teens, how they currently look, and if you would like to see teens updated sometime in the future to resemble actual teenagers, ranging from 13 to 18 years old instead of them all just looking like grown adults. Is that something you would like to see? Do you feel like it's realistic or at this point just don't see coming to The Sims 4? I mean, there's a lot that I would have guessed we'd never received that we have received recently, like the sexual orientations and pronouns. I never thought those things were coming. So at this point, I mean, anything goes. Anything is really possible. The Sims team seems to really be turning things around and actually giving the players what they've been requesting for years. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy simming. Of course, if there are any more updates on The Sims 4 High School years, I will be back as soon as possible. I love you. Take care. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.